Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Blissway Where's Waldo Waldo action figure. Is this action figure a paragon of design and perfection, or should it be relegated to the dumpster? Or is it characterized by insipid, unalloyed mediocrity in the form of a quantitative score? I have to raise this action figure to be a 2 out of 10. Why? He's aesthetically appealing. He has latitude for dynamic posability, he possesses ample points of articulation, and of course, he's a quintessential action figure of Waldo thus far. Much of my dismay, much of my agony, much of my distress, much of my consternation, much of my grief. He commands a steep, staggering, hefty, lofty, exorbitant price that is two, that is 750% greater than the retail price of an 8 Dark Tobias Marvel Legends action figure. It is also 700, It is also 750% greater than the retail price of a DC Universe Classics action figure. Unlike an 8 Dark Tobias Marvel Legends action figure, this Where's Waldo action figure is devoid of a build-a-figure piece for a meticulously detailed behemoths of a 14 to 16 inch builder figure furthermore in stark contrast to an 8 dollar tobis marvel legends action figure he's also devoid of a comic book so for 56 dollars plus sales tax four dollars less than this where's waldo action figure you could have procured the entire tobis marvel legends sentinel action figure wave which would have included eight tobis marvel legends action figures including the uh, meticulously detailed behemoths 14 to 16 inch build a figure as well as seven comic books and a myriad of action figure stands what do we get for a harder money um by procuring this waldo action figure well we get some accessories it's not enough to entice me to buy this figure i cannot vindicate i cannot warrant spurging on buying this figure but if you're well, see, if you're affluent, if you can afford it for their way, $60 on a single figure, then by all means take heat up buying this figure, because he's definitely a novelty item, to say the least. He definitely resembles or emulates his um, Where's Waldo 2D counterpart, um, and he'll definitely stand out on your shelf. He coincides Emily well with the prodigious 67-inch action figure collection. He has a high-quality sculpt, high-quality aesthetics, high quality details, high quality textures, and as you guys are unequivocally aware, or acutely aware, he comes bundled with a copious amount of accessories, but there's just not enough value furnished to me to entice me, to incentivize me, to um, compel me to buy this figure. If the price were to precipitously plunge into the abyss to $10 or less, then I would more than likely take heat of buying this figure, but I just cannot vindicate paying more than the price of eight Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures for um, a single six inch Where's Waldo Waldo action figure. Is it an atrocity? Am I mortified that he commands a cost prohibitive price point? Well, I just have to deal with it. Hopefully, another um, action figure company will churn out. An affordable Where's Waldo Waldo action figure in the pending future because this price point of six dollars plus sales tax is just cost prohibitive and um, absurd for a six dollar action figure for a six inch action figure to command. So I hope that you deem this video to be enthralling and engrossing. Um, at the $60 price point, you should have come bundled with at least seven other figures in tandem with more accessories, as well as Build-A-Figure pieces, and where's Waldo books? We need more value for hard-earned money, um, and this figure does not deliver unprecedented value, especially at the $60 plus sales tax price point. It just deters people from buying it at the end of the day. So once again, I hope that you are bedazzled and regaled. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.